have been following me and watching me for a very long time, you will know that I have a slight obsession with makeup brushes. Um, it's quite an unhealthy obsession. I have way too many and I kind of... There is someone outside my window and I'm very high up. At first glance it does look like it says Zoella. <sighs> um, it doesn't. It says Zoeva. This is one of them. It's dirty because I use it and... Seagulls. I wasn't going to wash it just for the purpose of this video because I didn't want to. Um, uh, this one is the Lux Face Definer 101. They all have numbers um, and different uses and things and they have such a massive range of brushes. I think you can buy them individually or you can buy them in sets. Now my favourite at the moment, which I am going to do a blog post on very very soon, so keep an eye out for that, um, is this collection. Yes. They are rose gold. Oh, I love rose gold so much. It's not just the fact that they have rose gold on them that makes me love them. It's actually the fact that they are amazing. There's a massive, massive selection of brushes. There's basically one for everything you would ever need. And the quality of them is amazing. I've washed these so many times and no hairs come out. They're just amazing quality. I use them over my MAC brushes, in fact, and I super love them. So if you are looking for makeup brushes at the moment, then give these a little try. Next thing I have been... Why did I go like that? The next thing... Next thing I've been loving is a concealer. I've had this for quite a long time, but it recently made its way into my makeup bag. And so far, it has not made its way out, which is always a good thing. So that is the Makeup Forever Full Cover concealer. Um, it looks like this. It's very heavy coverage. I've had kind of problematic skin at the moment. I've been getting those really horrible big under the skin spots that never actually come out and they are an absolute pain in the ass, and they hurt and you can feel them pulsating on your face. Sexy. So sexy. So my normal concealer wasn't quite cutting it and uh, so I started using this and I remembered why I purchased it and why I loved it so much. It leaves quite a matte finish, it's not shiny in any way, um, and a little goes a very long way, which is always a good thing um, with concealer because it just means it's super pigmented. It's also really nice to blend and it lasts a really long time as well. So if you are having uh, problems with your skin at the moment or you have a few blemishes or something and you need something a bit more heavy duty, this is awesome. I don't know why I've put that there. Let's put it down here with the other things. Next thing I've been loving is something that Louise got me for Christmas and it is this NARS blusher and bronzer palette. It's the Guy Bourdin, or Bourdin, I think it's Bourdin, I think, it's, I think he's French, I don't really know. This is the palette One Night Stand and it has a highlighter, a bronzer and four blushes. My favourite one that I've been using at the moment non-stop is this one here. I don't know what it's called because the names of them aren't on the back, which is really super annoying, so I can't tell you. If any of you know, do leave it in the comments for anybody who might be reading through the comments to know. But I love this palette so much. I chuck it in my makeup bag and it's just, it's perfect, especially if you're going away um, and you're not too sure how you want your makeup to look, then you've got a lot of options and it's just beautiful. And also the size of the mirror makes taking it away awesome because you've always got somewhere to do your makeup. So thanks Louise, I still love it! This next thing is a body wash, which is kind of odd, is it? I don't know, everyone washes their bodies, don't they? If you didn't, then then there'd be a problem. This is a Soap and Glory one. I think I've mentioned this in a previous favourites video, but it's still my favourite, so therefore it's making another appearance because I need you to all know about it. Um, it's the Soap and Glory Rich Anthomus Shower Gel. This stuff smells amazing, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. In fact, the other day, Alfie emerged from my shower and he goes, oh, that stuff you've got in there, that, that's really nice. And for a boy to admit that a girl's shower gel smells nice, that's a rarity. That's when you know it's good. It says, almond, oats and brown sugar scent. What more could you want? This next product is a hair product and it is the VO5 Smoothly Does It Tame and Shine Spray. Because you know after you've curled your hair sometimes or applied heat, it can go a little frizzy. 
and you don't want it to be frizzy so I spray this on a hairbrush and then just brush my hair through it so you don't sp I don't spray it directly on my hair, I just spray it into the brush and then brush through and it makes my hair so much more sleek and silky and soft. Moving on to slightly more random things, um, I love candles. That's just a fact. And one of my favourite brands for candles is Jo Malone. I feel that they last a really long time. The scent is really strong but not too overpowering and they just burn really nicely and the scents are all awesome. One of my favourites um, of recent times is one called Green Tomato Leaf. Now I can imagine a lot of you going, really? Green Tomato Leaf as a candle? Like come on Zoe, there's things like vanilla and you know bergamot and rose and jasmine and lavender why not have those as a candle well i'll tell you why <laughs> because i am all into very fresh scents it's very fresh it's very light and it's the kind of scent that you would light in the daytime i guess not when you're trying to have a cosy night in. I know the smell because my granddad always had a greenhouse, so he used to grow tomatoes in his greenhouse. And in the summer you could smell it, um, and it was always just a really comforting smell to me. And it's just the smell of spring and summer. And if you're into similar scents, then I think you'll really like it too. Just go into a Jo Malone and give it a sniff. Anyway, I used it all up and then I was like, do you know what, I'm going to have to go back and buy another one, which rarely happens with me because I like to try so many different kinds of candles that I'll normally move on to something new and something that smells completely different. But I did have to go back and get it and here it is. Mmm. <gasps> so, so nice. I can't even describe. Actually, I can. It smells like green tomato leaf. <laughs> you could also then use the um, the candle uh, bow as um, a head bow, so it's multi-purpose to be honest. Ow. Next random thing is mini eggs! Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love mini eggs! Yes I do! I can't make a song up about that really, and I need to eat one. Oh my god! Who remembers? Oh, what are they called? Bran flakes. Okay. No, they're not bran flakes. Weetabix. Oh my god, I need to make some of those. Cadbury's chocolate, Weetabix, and these. And it made little nests. Who used to have those? And the last random thing I have been loving is a shop. And it is not a clothes shop or a makeup shop. It's actually next home. It is awesome and they have so many amazing things, especially if you've just moved out or if you're going to uni. It's the best place. It's such good value for money. They have so many amazing cute things. The kettles have polka dots on them and the toasters. They have toasters and kettles with polka dots, like cute colours as well. These are a couple of the things I got the other day. I got this cushion, which I thought was really super cute, especially since I live by the sea. And I got this, which is also kind of sea related. Um, it says you, me and the sea and it has little blue fish on the back. And this last thing that I got is because when Alfie came over the other day, he was like, I really want a hot chocolate but your mugs are really small and sometimes you just want a beefy hot chocolate, don't you? Let's be honest. So taking his thoughts and opinions on board, when I was in Next, I found some mugs that were probably the biggest mugs I've ever seen in my life and kind of as a joke slash I actually want to see someone attempt to drink hot chocolate out of that I bought them <laughs> and here it is shall we compare it to the size of my head like everything I do there you go in fact yep it covers my whole face massive gorgeous mugs for soup cereal or epic hot chocolates that is everything I have been loving recently. Do let me know in the comments things that you've been loving or things that you think I might also love because I love reading through your comments and seeing what you guys have been up to and what you've been loving because I love you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you again very soon. Bye, I'll see you again very soon. Bye. This old, never before seen footage of 11 year old Zoella vlogging. Enjoy.
I'm about to pack for my holidays. Okay, so 